Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot and this is your Daily Dust for June 2nd, Thursday, June 2nd. If you're watching in real time, then then it's for today or tomorrow, <laughs> however you want to look at it, or this can be for whenever you stumble upon it and treat it as a timeless reading. So today we're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot comes in a very nice book. This is one of my favorite, favorite tarot decks. It's, the images are really beautiful. Look at that. Into the gray we follow like a thousand flickering stars and there in a sunlight hollow we lose and find what is ours. And then this looks like the sun in there. I don't know why I'm showing you that but I just <laughs> thought you'd like to see that. And also, if you like this deck, you can use my Amazon affiliate link to purchase it. So it does not come in orange. I edged it myself. I like to edge my cards, give them an extra oomph. It's kind of part of my ritual sometimes. <clears throat> Let's give it a good shuffle. <clears throat> Okay, taking off the top. We have, ooh, beautiful, the Empress. This is one of my favorite Empress cards. Somebody could be getting pregnant, or somebody out there is pregnant. I feel this represents full term, health, good health, good vitality, connecting to the world. Let's see what else. Ooh, Four of Pentacles. This Four of Pentacles is especially nice. I like the message behind it. And, <clears throat> ooh, Ace of Swords. Very dynamic reading. Let's, let me just breathe into this a little bit. So before, let me just address the Four of Pentacles. So a lot of times we'll see this as, you know, maybe greedy or possessive or holding on to things too tightly. But in this deck, it has a, a, a sweet message. It's, well, you know, Four of Pentacles can also be about savings and being wise with money. So I think that's a good thing. There could be, there could be something like that going on here with you, just being wise with your money. But there's also a connection with the community. So the positive messages here are stability and savings and success and generosity, accepting your worth too, being in the flow with the universe and the feelings of gratitude, and also helping others in time of need. So sometimes it doesn't make sense, but sometimes when you feel the most worried about money situations or, or your time is when if you give, if you just push a little to give, just the smallest amounts is when you get back and so much more. So basically it's like having, saving some for yourself true, yes, for a rainy day, also giving, it's, it's the way the money flows. So actively save and give to the world or in the world and focus on feeling excited and expansive. It's the lack mentality that puts us into lack. So if you see like you, you have plenty to save and plenty to give, then that could change that around for you. And I feel like, haha, you're like, epiphany time. Oh, yes. Yes, I, I am changing my mind on this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm broadening my mind. I love spirals. I'm going to be talking about spirals soon. It's it's a talk that I've been wanting to have for a while now. But as far as sacred geometry goes, spirals represent everything in nature grows in a spiral. If you ever watch like a slow stop motion uh, video of of a plant, you'll see that it just it, it bops around until in, as it grows to the sun. As do we, you know, we our minds, our evolution, the way we are, we we sometimes may revisit certain topics until we integrate them, but we are growing up into us in a spiral motion. And as we do, we're integrating new lessons. Every day is a new day. You're never too old to learn something new. And 
It's about clarity and aha moments, truth revealed, awareness, these heightened states of consciousness, victory, success. You know what? I'm also hearing if you're having um, a money situation, you're, I'm hearing that you're going to use methods like affirmations and other other things that I've tried to, <laughs> and it, it, it doesn't hurt, right? It's just a beautiful sound that you listen to in the evening or in the morning or whenever to help get your mind focused on positivity. So you're attracting, you're absorbing, and also you're assuming that you're wealthy. You know, wealth is not just about monetary things. It's about joy of living, living a full life, you know, being connected to the world, being full, being, being in your highest energy. That is what success truly is. That's more valuable than any amount of dollars that you might receive from any work or whatever. This is creativity, fertility, unity, the goddess, sensuality, nurturing, abundance, the abundance attitude, having empathy, having unconditional love, the unification of body, mind, and soul. She's radiating. So, whew, you can say this um, affirmation, I am ready to give birth to my abundant, rich future. It's really beautiful. I, I feel like you have this in spades. I just feel like this is all within you. And there's times where you hold it too tight, you know, hold on to the money too tight or hold on to the thought, the lack of mentality a little bit. But then you, your mind shifts and you realize in order to have this abundance, I need to see myself as abundant and blessed in every way don't compare yourself to somebody who who has more money to, than you compare yourself to the people who are smiling with little you know who have happiness and have great lives that don't make a lot of money you know their 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 joy comes from a different place it comes from the abundance within but that doesn't mean you can't have money too you can if that's what you want absolutely it's not a negative thing to to want to have more flow of money in your life that's another thing that you might be stumbling upon i recommend two really good books well let's see what is that one book all right one book this one. Here's the Science of Getting Rich, Wallace D. Waddles. It's kind of old, and the the way it's written may be hard to to follow, but there. But this has inspired other people's. Um, I, the first time I heard of this book was through um, Ducey. What's his first name? Anyway, check out him on YouTube. He has a really great way of projecting this abundant feeling. Um, research the law of attraction and assumption again and see how the f putting yourself in the feeling of abundance can really attract more abundance to you. So yeah, in all areas of your life, you're very fertile and you have a lot of potential. <laughs> And it's going to be fine. You're going to be wonderful. It's going to be amazing. You're just, you're leveling up. You're leveling up. All right. Well, I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.